is stripped away. Hallelujah. Everything is stripped away. And all that is left is the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you've got to be experientially ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, brothers and sisters, when God came, Joshua, a commandment, he had to prepare his people for battle. Now understand that they were coming out of slavery. And this is a strange way for you to prepare anybody for war because they were oppressed and suppressed. How can I fight if all I've known is slavery? How can I fight when all I've known is oppression? Yet God is declaring that even if you are oppressed, even if you feel abused, even if you feel weak and are fever, once God begins to give the command. He automatically begins to equip for the battle. Once God declares that you're coming into our destiny and purpose, he is going to strengthen you. Hallelujah. To be able to walk into a battle and to come out victorious. And so, brothers and sisters, our Joshua had to enter his soldiers into military training he had to let them understand that there are attacks and then there are counter attacks in the name of Jesus. And so brothers and sisters, Ah, you cannot go to war and not expect an affliction. You cannot go to war and expect that you're going to come out without any wounds and any injury. So there is an attack and then there is a counter attack. Hallelujah. There is what is called biological warfare. And according to the world's definition of biological warfare is the intentional use of bacteria and viruses and toxins to harm and to kill. And these manifest in the life of the believer through sickness and through disease, through our genetic dysfunction, generational sicknesses and disease. One of the worst enemies to be fighting is an enemy that is roaming around in your body. One of the worst enemies to be fighting is something that has erected a stronghold in your life, in your organs, and has penetrated your body. Hallelujah. And has gotten into your bloodstream. That is the attack. But the counter attack today is understanding, understanding that you have got to use the blood of Jesus. Understanding that you have got to get into your arsenal and pull out the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and you have got to counter you have got to counter sickness and disease with the word of the living God by his stripes you are healed with the word of the living God our healing is the children's bread with the word of the living God that he is Jehovah Rapha hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then there is psychological warfare. This is the spreading of propaganda and the spreading of lies and our fruit. We know that the devil is the master deceiver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the enemy comes in to spread lies and propaganda to deceive and to intimidate and to influence the thinking of the believer. Because once the enemy has your mind, he has you. It does not matter how skilled a warrior you are. It does not matter how much experience you have had in battle. Once your enemy has got your mind, he has got you you went. And so, brothers and sisters, the war is for our mind because the devil knows that if he can deceive you, then you will start top out of your seat of authority and your place of power. The Bible says that we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And Jesus is seated far above principalities and power and so the enemy will use the spirit of fear and intimidation and he will rob us of 
of the truth of where we stand in Christ Jesus in order for us are to come. But today the devil is a liar. You've got to be mentally tough if you're going to win this battle. The Bible says you ought to guard up the loins of your mind. First Peter chapter 1. Ah, verse 13, you've got to curb up your mind. You've got to put tight reins on your mind. You have got to take control of your thought life as it relates to your relationship with God. The Bible says that it is with the mind that we serve the Lord. So you cannot go to battle and your mind is all over the place. You cannot be in a battle and you are wondering if God is going to deliver. You cannot be in a battle and a lower Ah, deception and doubt and fear to cloud your judgment. You have got to shut down certain people in order for you to be able to win this battle. Ah, when Elizabeth was pregnant with John the Baptist and the angel of the Lord came to visit Zachariah, her husband, Zachariah did not believe that Elizabeth at her age and stage in life was going to be able to carry a child. What did God do? God caused him to become dumb. God shut him down so that he would not be able to speak negatively over the process and over the victory that God wanted to rot for his people. And God has got to shut down some of the people that are around some people all of a sudden because you are carrying purpose and destiny you no longer hear from them they don't call you like they used to why because God has got to shut down everything and everybody that is going to cause the seed of God to be dislodged hallelujah and so brothers and sisters you've got to keep tight reins over your mind and refuse to be intimidated and listen you can't go to battle with people who are afraid and people who have no faith and people who are not bold they are going to give up and give in they are going to sell you out at the first sign of trouble you've got to go to battle with somebody who understands hardness somebody who is not going to quit somebody who is not weak minded somebody who understands what it means to resist the devil because if you have cowards in your camp at the first sign of trouble they they are going to sell you out at the first sign of trouble they are going to sell your secrets and cause the enemy to invade your territory so you've got to know who is in your circle and who can withstand pressure you can't come in the circle if you do not know how to fight you can't come in the circle if you don't know how to withstand pressure you can't come in the circle if you do not know how to dodge a bullet you can't come in the circle if you are not a sniper because where I'm going I need a marksman come on, where I'm going I need somebody who is a strategist, where I'm going, I need somebody who can handle pressure somebody who knows what it means to ascend into another dimension in God, and so you've got to be mentally tough you've got to adjust your helmet of salvation, whatever you are coming up against, the helmet has got to be adjusted to accommodate where you're going. So if you are being attacked in your finances, you've got to shift the helmet. You've got to get the word of God in your mind concerning your finances. If it is your health, if it is your family, whatever is going on, you've got to shift your helmet to accommodate it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it's no retreat and it's no surrender. Then there is geographical and cultural warfare. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Israel was commanded to utterly destroy the nations that were occupying their territory. They were in the promised land and they had to be annihilated because they would corrupt, they would corrupt and defile the children of God. And so brothers and sisters, when you are taking territory, territorial spirits are going to present themselves and understand that they have dominated influence over families, over communities, over businesses, over industries. And you've got to understand that 